Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Domus Creations and More, where you can find me here on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Today I'm going to share with you a swap that I received from my friend um, Pamela over at Creative Christian uh, Crafters Swaps and More on Facebook. And um, we had to do, or we chose to do, a journal page swap. Um, let me see. <laughs> the requirements were that an 8.5 by 11 paper folded in half, that it had pockets, tucks, a faith-based dangle, two faith-based paper clips, and then for us to leave some, some uh, room for journaling and tags and stuff like that. So let's see what Pamela sent me. First of all, she packaged it up in like a little deli bag. Um, I like it. It's like thick wax paper and it's brown and you can see through it. And then she made like a paper cluster. Beautiful. Love that idea. Thank you, Pamela. <gasps> wow. Beautiful. Let me put this aside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you in. And so you can see and I'm getting the first look with you guys wow so this is a front of sorry let me zoom you out just a little bit okay this is a front of the page and this is just a journal page okay <gasps> wow this is the back of the page okay and there's stuff inside too okay I'm gonna let you see with me is this a paper clip? Oh, it is a paper clip. Okay, because it had to have to. Oh, this is a paper clip. How beautiful. Look. She is clothed with strength, dignity, and she laughs without the fear of the future. Look at the layering. And then on the side, she distressed it. Or she did it with a marker or something purple. And then the pearls, the lace, the doily. She distressed the edges and she stamped it. And this is a back and it's nice and thick. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Now, let's see. Since it's a page and I don't know if it has... Okay, all oh, this is stuck down. Look at the beautiful doily she put on there. Oops, I'm so sorry. A doily and then she layered this like button. It has bling on it. Some stamps. The doily. Um, this background paper, she folded it over here. Another doily. The more of that pretty crocheted lace. I mean, not crocheted, like, um, yeah, embroidered. And then the, the pearls. She uh, hole punched this image, like a picture of a couple. Then she did a dangle right here. Oh, how cute, the dangle. With a bow pin, it says faith, and it has look at it. This right here is a little rose, and then it has a piece of this pretty lace. It has gold and white sequin. All along the border on the bottom, she put this crochet lace. I'm gonna take you over to the back. Another bit of that paper. Oh, I don't know why my camera does that. Okay, and she folded it over, and she actually made this one a tuck. Another one of those uh, dangles with a long bead this time. This one says hope. And another piece of that golden lace. Very pretty. The butterfly. I love butterflies. Look at the purple with a doily. That trim. And she made this into a tuck. Let's see what she put in there. Oh, and behind, she still layered up a piece of doily so it looks like it's sticking out. I love the paper. She put some ephemera in there. Ooh, it's double sided. Very pretty. Oh, doilies. I get so excited with doilies because I can't find them in my area. Thank you, Pamela. And then look, this is like a journaling card that she made. She punched it with her punch. Oh, that's so beautiful. Thank you, Pamela. I'm going to put this. In here just the way it was in the back I still have to take pictures but oh, it's 
so beautiful that I haven't even got inside yet, guys. So then you open it up, and this is how it looks. So I'm going to take you through half of it. I'm going to fold it over. So then she made a pocket. How beautiful. She made... Oh, okay, she used it as a tuck spot. Instead of gluing this side down, she used it as a tuck spot. Oh, I see a note. Okay, hold on. Aw, it says, Hi, Thelma. Thank you for the journal page swap. Blessings, Pam. And then it's the back, and then she put her, her little note, and then the little ribbon. I like that idea. Oh, thank you, Pamela. So she used it as a tuck spot. Oh, okay. So then all of this is just tucked in there. Or oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. Hold on. I see it now. Oh, it's a double pocket. Okay, okay. Let me put this back. Let me explain that again because I did not see that. This one is one, one tuck in here. This is what she tucked behind there, which was, which are beautiful tags. Look at that. Beautiful. Thank you, Pam. So, oh, and there's a flower. I don't, I have, I, um, I'm seeing on you details. She put the lace here, a little flower sticker there, a butterfly, which I love. She tucked some um, tags there, but what I didn't see is there's another tuck behind there. So, actually, there's two tucks. And this stuff was behind the second tuck. Okay. Some more paper. I love this paper. So pretty. Oh, look, guys. A beautiful tag. And she put a little piece of paper that came from the front. She distressed the edges. This is like dyed paper. Wow. She collaged. There's a piece here, a piece there, a piece here. It's distressed. This is that little piece that was hanging out in the back, like a label. And this is the chipboard piece. And then she put um not a brad, what is it? a reinforcer, but like um it's metal. And then she put the purple, real pretty purple, dark purple organza ribbon. Very pretty. And then she took a bulb bulb pin and she uh, threaded through this one that says beauty and she put a little um, what is that called um, an eyelet a metal eyelet and then two buttons how pretty oh look at that button has thread in it uh, let me see if I'll pick it it has thread very pretty and it's thick very nice Pam and then look at the beautiful paper. I wonder what kind of paper this is. Sweet moments and the weekend. And it's thick. Very, very pretty. I love this idea. Wow. I'm really enjoying the doing the journal uh, page swaps because I'm getting lots of ideas. And then this is the other half, right? And you open it up. Let me see. Oh, is this a... Yeah, this is... Yep. This is the other um, paper clip. Um, she took some cardstock and she doubled it up nice and thick. Oh, wow. I don't know if she stamped on it or it came like that. But that's beautiful. She used her corner punch. Then she layered it up. Um, doily, a piece of book page, and then another piece of paper. Faith belief, charity, and hope. And then she put the little piece of lace, I mean, um, trim there. Very pretty. And then she distressed it with a purple. I think it's paint. Well, she did paint here. Very pretty. Oh, and then she used the purple. So that, and then that's what was holding this on there. Delightful. Ooh, look at that. Oh, these like are cut aparts. Love knows no bounds. Beautiful. Heart of gold. Then she included ooh some journaling paper. But look at how pretty the look at the the print she got. 
Oh, wow. And this is dyed paper. I don't know. Maybe avocado dyed paper. And so she folded it in thirds. And then she corner punched all the corners. Wow, that's so pretty. Look at that. The camera is not doing it justice. Let me see if I bring it up. And there you go. There you go. Now you can see it kind of looks like a f uh, flower petal that has like the different tones of pink and it even has like texture on it. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. I don't know how she dyed it or how she got that effect but it's beautiful. And that was tucked there. And then these, oh, the beautiful paper. Oh, they're like little uh, journaling cards. Sweet day, our story, family time, together. Drink the wild air, hello, dream, and then like a little list. How cute. Thank you, Pam. And then this is a paper. Oh, I guess you folded it in half. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She made like a little tuck spot here on the side. Beautiful paper. And she tucked. Are these like negatives? It looks like a negative because look at it. Is this metal? It, if it's not metal, it's so shiny. And then, uh, let's see if it mix it up. There. It has like a, a embossed circle, fancy little circle around it, like a frame. Uh, I'm trying to pick that up with a camera. There you go. You can see it very faintly. And then you can see, like, if I turn it a certain way, it looks like it there you go see it's shiny so I don't know if it's like a negative but it's a, a picture of a lady and then this one is a picture of a, like a young boy how pretty wow and she had those tucked into the side and then this was paper clipped here just a beautiful, beautiful page. Thank you so much, Pamela. And isn't her work exquisite? It's just breathtakingly pretty. Just beautiful. And then this is her note, but I love the I love the idea. Um, she took a piece of paper, of course distressed it, tore some paper, made the note, and then added a little um, staple with a ribbon staple to the side. I love that. I love this for, uh, idea for a journaling card, even for like a little note like this. Isn't her work awesome, guys? I mean, I'm just in awe. I'm like, wow. Just wow. Beautiful just gorgeous I'm still soaking it all in like I said you got the first impression along with me because I hadn't opened it and I'm just looking back and and I'm look I'm paying to the the little details that I miss like um you, look at the bow right one side's longer one side's shorter I think it adds to the the look at this to the charm of it and then when she tied on the ribbon she actually tied it on see like she knotted it and then she made this so it um, makes it like you know stand apart and then it has some texture there but that's where she put the little bow pin instead of doing it through here she did it through the ribbon so I mean man I can stand here and I mean I can sit here and well stand because I'm standing but anyway and just ooh and all about it. I love that. Look at the trim. When you open it up, you can see it this way. But in the front is the double. I love that idea. And this is one of my favorite trims. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much, Pamela. I really, really, really love it. Appreciate all your hard work. And I'm still looking at all the details. Like, look at the doily, like, tucked in there. The pearls, the lace, just beautiful. Thank you so much. I appreciate all your hard work. 
And guys, stay tuned to my channel because I am going to be doing a series on uh, journal pages. Just different ways you can do journal pages. And um, the reasoning behind that is first to share and, you know, different ideas um, on what to do with journal pages. After a while, when we start making journals, right, uh, you want to do something different. You want to open it up like this one, right, and, and just see different things, textures, um, you know, different. We, we all have our style of doing things. And while I'm doing this series, I am asking those that are interested in doing a journal page journal page swap with me um, to let me know I will be putting my email um, on the bottom from now on on my videos it will be done with creations and more at gmail.com um, where you can email me if you're interested in doing a journal page swap my reasoning behind wanting that is one I'll have a piece of your work with me um, I love it everybody inspires me everybody has talent uh, everybody does things differently and um, it's something um, totally different when you have somebody's pe somebody's um, work of art in your hands you're able to see the texture you're able to see the paper you're able to see all the like the placement of the things like the doily see she used doily here she used doily there but you know it goes together but it looks so different because of the where she placed it and um you know you can really appreciate it so um, stay tuned to my channel because uh, that's a series that I will be hosting and I hope that many of you will um, come on board and do a journal page with me um, where you would include um, your uh, information in there so I'll have you know your address your likes and stay tuned to my channel I'll let you know um, but yes thank you Pam I really 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 love your page so many ideas you've inspired me um, I'm gonna use it as inspiration in my upcoming projects thank you so much guys on the description I'm not description I always say that in the comment section leave me a comment tell me what you loved um, what you like about it what inspired you what did you like about her page and I'm gonna just do you a quick little I mean, wow. I see so many things that, like, this is an excellent idea. Just, I love it. Love, love, love. There's so many ideas in here. So thank you, Pam, once again. And thank you, yeah, you watching this video for watching my video. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment of what you liked about it. And if you're possibly interested in doing a journal swap. So that uh, we can get in contact with each other and do that. And stay tuned to my channel because that's my new series for October. Bye guys. Happy crafting.